Hi, my name is Raquel, and you might consider me to be a little bit of a beauty addict, but I prefer the term beauty enthusiast. And the one beauty product I love the most, lip products. So many, I had to split my collection into high-end and drugstore. Honor of my lip addiction, every Saturday, we'll discuss a new lip product. This is Smack Talking Saturdays. Who says talking smack is whack? I hope you are having a great day and doing well. I'm having a pretty great day. The weather has gotten a little bit cooler and there was rain yesterday. So it's starting to feel more like fall is actually gonna come when it's not like 170 degrees outside. So in honor of fall, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite reds for the season. Now in this video, I will have all of the lipstick colors I'm about to show swatched on the lips and I'll insert them somewhere here or there. The lipsticks I'm gonna be talking about, three are from the drugstore, three are high end, um, and they range in price from $26 to two to three dollars so I think that will be something that will look good on all skin tones and fit all budgets so let's go ahead and get started with the lip color I'm wearing the first color I'd like to talk to you about is from MAC and it's called Really Woo. Um, this was part of MAC's collaboration with Rihanna, um, the singer Rihanna, and it's come out twice. I'm not sure if it's currently available on MAC online. I will have that information filled in down here, but this is going to come out again really soon. Again, I'll put that date somewhere within here for you so you can know when to expect this to come out. It's limited edition. It's $16.50 and it's just a really gorgeous, nice matte red. It's actually what I have on my lips right now, so I'll go ahead and take it out the container. Hopefully you can see that engraved it has Rihanna's signature. And it's just that classic, nice matte red that I think is wearable for all skin tones. Um, there's very few things you'll hear me say all skin tones, but this is one I'd recommend for all skin tones. Um, like I said, I have it on my lips right now. And I'll hit it on. And it's a pretty nice creamy formula. It's a very comfortable lipstick to wear. Um, because it is matte, you have super dry lips, take your favorite lip balm and just apply a little bit on your lips before applying this shade. I'm also gonna swatch it on my hand just so you can kind of see the color by itself. So I'll give you a really good swatch. And that is the color. Just really nice classic matte red. Highly recommend checking out re -re Woo when it comes out. I also think when it um, is re-released it's going to come out in like a different packaging so something to look for. Okay so continuing with high-end red lipsticks I would recommend. Um, the next one comes from NARS and it's called Dragon Girl. This is a matte lip pencil so just like the re, -re Woo, this is a matte but it's in pencil form. So I'll take off the top and you can tell I've gotten some use out of that so I apologize. This again is another red that I find very wearable for again all skin tones. Um, I love how this wears. It's very comfortable on the lips and I like how it's your lip liner and it's your lip color all in one. Um, NARS makes excellent lip products so if you haven't tried any of their um, lip pencils and you're looking for the perfect red, definitely check out Dragon Girl. I think you'll really be impressed with it. So here is Dragon Girl swatched and it's the one on the bottom right there underneath Riwi Woo. It's a really gorgeous red shade and again it's just that nice matte perfect for fall and holiday season high-end lipstick I'm going to talk about comes from Tarte. Um, Tarte's one of my favorite makeup companies. I make no secret about that. And this is from their Amazonian Clay line. Now the Amazonian Clay, you will find that it just, whether it's in your foundation or in the skincare or in, even in its lip product, just helps things to last longer. So this is the Tarte Glamazon Pure Performance Lipstick in Fierce. Really nice tomato red color. Looks like this. And now this red tends to lean a little bit more orange than the other two that I've shown. And I will give you a good swatch of it so you can kind of see 
in comparison. Okay, so again, that one's the one on the bottom. So up top we have our Wee Wee Woo. Then we have um, Dragon Girl by NARS. And this is our Tarte and Fierce. So it leans a little bit more towards the orange side. So if you're not a big fan of lipsticks, red lipsticks that wear orange or lean towards orange, this might not be the shade for you, but if you don't mind or want to add a little bit of versatility into your red lipsticks, this might be the one to choose. What's great about this lipstick is it's long wearing. It does give you um, not so much of a gloss, it's more of a satin finish. And I love how you can eat, drink, you know, and live life and your lips are still looking great. So, high end, we have our Ri Ri Woo from MAC, our NARS Dragon Girl, and then we have our Tarte Glamazon Lipstick in Fierce. Okay, so let's talk about drugstore red lipsticks. I have three that I would recommend for you to check out if you don't already have them in your collection already. And two of the three retail for about two to three dollars. So super affordable. Let's jump in and talk about these drugstore red lipsticks. So the first one I have for me is from Maybelline and it is number 645 Red Revival. This is how it looks in its container. I'll go ahead and open it up. Red Revival. Now these retail from about $5.50 to about $8 depending on where you purchase them from. It's always cheaper to kind of go to Walmart if you can probably get a better deal or pick these up during a BOGO sale. This lipstick is just one of like your perfect blue based reds. Like if you love your blue based reds, this lipstick is for you. Super creamy, has a nice built in shine. So there's that color right there. So you don't have to top this off with a lip gloss. Very comfortable. Um, wears fairly decent for a lipstick. I wouldn't call it super long wearing, but fairly decent for a lipstick. And I love how it has that shine. Very, very nice and comfortable. Deep in its red shade and a nice blue base undertone. And what's great about it too, it's affordable. You know we can't talk lipsticks without mentioning one from Wet n Wild. And this is from their Mega Last line and it is number 911D Spotlight Red. Looks like this. Really gorgeous red shade. Now Wet n Wild says that these last about four to five hours. I'd actually give them maybe five, five and a half hours. Very nice and long wearing. Um, again, you get a nice shine with it and it's comfortable to wear. Gorgeous red, has a little bit of pink to it. So there it is on the bottom. So you can see, especially with that Maybelline compared to that Spotlight Red, how much blue that actually has in it. But super wearable, goes on nice and easy and does wear nicely throughout the day. So that is your Spotlight Red number 911D from the Mega Last Collection from Wet n Wild. So last on the drugstore list of favorite reds is from Black Radiance. This is shade 5014 Reggae Red. Looks like this. Let me hold it up for you. That is Reggae Red. Now these lipsticks for Black Radiance are easily becoming some of my go-to lipsticks because they are so super creamy. If you've never tried a Black Radiance, lipstick, please go to your local retailer, pick out your favorite shade and try it. These lipsticks, if you like a really super creamy lipsticks, um, to me this is easily by far the most creamiest drugstore lipstick I've ever tried. So let me give you a swatch underneath the Spotlight Red. Yeah, this just glides. Okay, check that out. So this is the Maybelline Red Revival, our Spotlight Red, and then underneath, that is our Reggae Red from Black Radiance. That one is pulling a little bit more pink as compared to the Stoplight Red, but still gorgeous red shade. So those are my three top picks of drugstore reds. Those are my six top red shades I think you should definitely check out for fall and holiday season. What are some of your go-to favorites? Let me know. Leave that all down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Take care, everybody.